In 2021, global workers continued to feel the burden of the pandemic. In fact, for some, the weight of that burden got even heavier. So Galapar's 68,000 employees in over 140 countries, how their lives and careers were going, which became the insights found in this year's State of the Global Workplace report. The pulse of the global workplace is driven by well-being and engagement, and that pulse is dangerously low. However, it's still beating. Here's what we found. Before the pandemic, engagement and well-being were rising globally. And now they remain flat, both increasing by just one percentage point in 2021. This means that most employees do not find their work meaningful, think their lives are going well, nor feel hopeful about the future. Worker stress reached a record high for the second year, with 44% of employees saying they experienced a lot of daily stress the previous day. While these employees might not have been stressed about work, they were certainly stressed at work. And for the second year in a row, working women consistently report higher levels of stress than working men around the world. The findings from last year are grim, but as the world emerges from the worst of the pandemic, employee well-being should be top priority for world leaders. This starts with organizations not just caring about their employees as workers, but as people. People with complex stories, families, and friends to care for, all with goals of their own. Organizations who take responsibility for the well-being of their employees are more likely to attract top talent, retain workers, see high productivity and performance, and most importantly, improve the lives of the individuals families and communities they serve. The world's workplace is in a time of rebuilding and leaders are the main architects. How will you build a more thriving workplace today and into the future? Download the State of the Global Workplace 2022 report to learn more.